Good morning everyone and welcome to Meister Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, I've got decks everywhere today because I'm going to have a bit of a, a romp and a read uh, in regards to oh, American politics, don't we? Despair. But everyone needs some positivity in their lives so we need to have a look at it and uh, see how it's all going to turn out. Um, what I wanted to have a look at today is I want to have a look at uh, Kavanagh uh, and his situation with the SCOTUS. I have read in the past that he will be going within, well, 12 months from now. It was about six months ago that I read on it. So I want to have another look at him given current circumstances. Uh, I want to have a look at... Um, uh, Trump's nominee is falling like flies and he has several coming up. I think he's got five coming up this week, um, including Dr. Oz. Um, so I want to see how um, the Trump-backed uh, nominees are going to go. And I want to have a little, little look into... Um, so what's happened is with the... Uh, and Bo covers this, Bo of the fifth column covers this brilliantly, uh, is a little look at uh, on the state level. So what the GOP have done uh, in a lot of cases is rather than uh, uh, focusing years ago on uh, the Senate and the House, they focused on um, the state level positions that come up for election, uh, judges, attorney generals, um, whatever else state um, positions you have over there, which seems to be quite numerous. And... Um, They've been focusing on those, even get down to school board levels, uh, focusing getting their people in, which means that they're actually able to uh, gerrymander misinformation, etc., etc., on the state level, uh, which is then uh, influencing the levels up, the next levels up of politics. So I want to have a quick look at that as well. And then finally, uh, just see how Liz Cheney's going. I have read on her before. I have read that... Uh, uh, she will uh, very possibly end up independent, but I want to have another look at that as well. So it's a bit of a leftovers from yesterday, to be honest. So we'll have a quick look. Um, which one do I want to start with? I might start with uh, Brett Kavanagh. So, oh, you yeah, know those cards. Will... <laughs> I was going to put these cards down and then I turned them over and this was on the base of the pack which is telling me, yeah, these cards might do. These are my Golden Universal Tarot. So I might use those for a bit of a look at, at Brett Kavanagh. So tell me about... Oh, I'm getting chills up my legs. Tell me about Brett Kavanagh and his position on the SCOTUS. Taking the truth and walking away. Well, not walking away, moving away, moving away. So he's got the protesters have been camped outside his house, moving away because of the money. The money is going to come to light. And then on the base, when I was talking about that, is the inevitable ending. <laughs> I don't know whether I need to go much further on that, but tell me about... Brett Kavanagh's position, there are calls for the FBI to investigate because it was never investigated before his, uh, is it inauguration or something like that, is his swearing on to the Supreme Court, um, never investigated where the money came from for his debts to be paid off, which was incredibly suspicious to say the least, but tell me about Brett Kavanagh and his position on the Supreme Court. Brett Kavanagh, his position on the Supreme Court. Brett Kavanagh. I have read uh, in the past that uh, um, Thomas is going again within the next 12 months. Uh, I had three going at that stage. Uh, and one's turned out to be the Dem Democrat. I couldn't quite work out who the third one was when I did that initial reading. I did have it as Kavanagh, um, Thomas and one other, and I was thinking it was Roberts, but it's turned out to be... Oh, I'll do a reading on Roberts today too. It turned out to be the... Um, is it... Oh, didn't write it down. Is it Bray or Brayer or something? Anyhow, so tell me about... 
Kavanaugh and his position on the Supreme Court of the United States. Tell me about Brett Kavanaugh and his position on the Supreme. Now, don't forget, if you've got any questions or want me to look into something a bit further, write it down below. Brett Kavanaugh and his position, or send me an email. Oh, okay, didn't expect that as a first card out. Loss and disappointment. Loss and disappointment. Brett Kavanaugh's position on the Supreme Court crossed by having to defend himself. Pretty much sums it up. Base of the pack. Karma is going to come and bite him on the bum. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. It is the Destiny card. It is the Karma card. It is about um, the rise and fall of fortunes, uh, the closing of one door, the opening of another, etc. So the base of it is Karma is going to come. He's karma. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I did expect these cards, but I still didn't quite expect them to be quite so um, explicit. Uh, it is about in the past. It is about stealing something that does not belong to you. It is about untruths. It is about um, betrayal, sabotage lies, deceit, blah, 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 blah. It is, but this is about stealing truths that do not belong to you. Okay. And the truth is going to come out. Beware the double-edged sword. This is also, in this particular deck, the sword is piercing the crown. The sword, it's double-edged, it's piercing the crown, but it's also very much about... Uh, a new truth, uh, the, the, a new truth coming out, very, very powerful message of truth. Yeah, there is going to be a messenger, uh, this is the immediate future, there is going to be a messenger coming forward, um, ones are um, usually the government system, um, the lawmakers, so there is a message going to come forward in regards to this, which is going to lead to external endings, well, endings, basically, as he has tumbled off his perch and trampled underfoot. Okay, the internal... It, internal so this is external influences. The internal influences... Um, this is my voter card. This is, um, I think, what's happening is that the voters are, are having their voices heard. So it is a culmination. Now it's a ten, so it is a an ending of a cycle. It is the culmination of the voters having their voices heard, um, and uh, their um, their. Uh, wishes coming true, which is to have him investigated. Hopes and fears. Okay, he's extremely insecure at the moment, and it is in regards to uh, the money, the money, where his money came from. Uh, he's holding his cards very close to his chest. He is fearful about having it taken away from him. Not necessarily the money, but the position taken away from him. Uh, we've got the outcome. There's a dif difficult decision to be made in regards to a con contract or agreement. Um, and this all-seeing angel above is looking into it. So what you have here is you have the uh, female looking at this angel, but you have the, the male He's not looking at her, he's not looking at the angel, he's looking down at the ground, hoping he won't be seen, hoping he'll be invisible. Um, but it is about the contracts. The information about the contracts will come forward. Yeah, ending, ending as he is surrounded by the truth, the blades of truth, um, he is hamstrung by it. Won't go to jail, um, but the truth will come out. 
about the choices he has made and then we will have a new beginning. And this is very much the card when I draw this on politics is about uh, the faith in the democratic system of the US being restored. So what's going? the contracts in regards to his decisions are really going to bite deeply um, and, um, and hold him hostage and, and put him in an extremely difficult position that will lead to the ending. So we've got the, the, the fool, which is um, faith, stepping forward in faith with the investigation, leading to uh, the devil. Now, if you have a look on this card, you've got these two figures down the bottom, which are these two figures. They are the contract figure, the contract, um, the agreement that had chained him to the devil. Um, and we all know who the devil is. Uh, the devil is um, Trumpism, but it's also Russia. Uh, it is greed, avarice, toxicity. Uh, that is the devil he has found himself chained to that. And if you look here, one, two, three, major arcana, um, the investigation is going to show how he was chained to this devil. There's going to be unexpected information coming to light they are working behind the scenes on it at the moment in regards to the um, agreements with the emperor. And then it will be revealed. There will be a new beginning that will expose his past his and the connections to Russia itself. The connections to Russia, the connections to Trump. He's extremely anxious about it at the moment. There's a harsh truth that's going to come forward. There is going to be some infighting about the results, but it is an inevitable ending. So, oh, you know how I do like a story, <laughs> how the cards keep telling me the story. Um, so, yeah, it is, um, it is being investigated um, or about to be investigated. He's extremely anxious. He knows it's in regards to the money. And he is going to have to, um, from what what is found out, he is going to have to walk away and move on. So that's what I'm getting at about Kavanaugh. Uh, we've got these um, celebrations, circles of support in regards to uh, the legal system. Um, and the dark money is going to see him sacrificed. So... Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. And then we have actions and consequences and justice. So there we go. That's what I'm getting for uh, Mr. Kavanagh. So fingers and toes crossed, popcorn popping. Now I want to have a quick look at, um, before I start on Trump, I'll have a quick look at Liz Cheney. Um, she is on the committee. I have looked at her before. She's on the January 6th committee. Um, don't necessarily agree. Well, I'm not even in the US, so it doesn't matter what I believe or not, but I don't agree necessarily with her policies. But she is a politician of integrity, or she at least is now a politician of integrity uh, my previous reading on her has her in despair about the um, uh, despair about what's happening with her Republican Party, the way it's it's moved. Oh, I was going to have a look at Roberts, wasn't I? Oh, well, I'll do Liz Cheney first because I've got these cards, and then we'll go back to Roberts. So I just want to see what's what the future has in store for Liz Cheney, see whether it still suits with uh, what I had last reading. Is she up for election this year? Not sure, I didn't look that up. Uh, so, okay, so tell me Liz Cheney's position in the Republican Party. I see her coming out. Okay, I'm seeing her, it's going to be a hard road, but I see her actually rising above and becoming a 
leader of the party, um, a advisor. Um, I had the, got the two words McConnell and McCartney basically just spat out and I see Liz Cheney rising to a position of leadership within the party, setting direction. Not sure when that's going to happen, not soon by any chance. Um, yeah, this is her. This is the strength she's bringing to the... Um, the strength that she's bringing to the... not When I say party, I don't mean party as in the GOP. Just the, the strength that she's bringing uh, and the strength that she has within her and the strength that she's bringing to the January the 6th. Integrity is the word I'm getting. Integrity. So tell me about the future of Liz Cheney with the Republican Party. The Republican Party. Ooh. Giving and receiving help has popped out. Behind the scenes. Don't know that's if that's for her. Yes, it is for her. She is getting and receiving help from behind the scenes. From those that l lament the demise of the traditional Republican Party. Remembering that some of the greatest um, reformers and progressive decisions were made by the Republican Party many, many moons ago. Just sort of lost its way. When I say many moons ago, I'm talking about you know, 80, 90, 100 years ago. Tell me about Liz Cheney's future with the Republican Party. Liz Cheney's future with the Republican Party. Beautiful, glorious day outside, but still a bit muggy, so the cards are sticky. It's supposed to have a cold front come through this afternoon. Dropping temperatures. Tell me about Liz Cheney's future in the Republican Party. Okay, thank you, Meister. Oh, here she is again. Strengths. Gosh, you sure saw how much I shuffled, but yes, she has this inner strength that she is bringing to the situation. She has a compassionate strength, uh, and she is is going to be um, a. a Formidable cornerstone of the future direction of the GOP. Oh, I like that. Um, crossed a by five of cups. Disappointment. She is extremely disappointed, and a lot of re traditional Republicans are, with the direction that the party has gone in. She is crossed by this disappointment in the party in general. This will be her challenge is the disappointment in the party in general. At the base of the pack, we have the Queen of Wands. Again, this is um, a, um inner reflection of Liz Cheney. This is a woman who is confident, or a feminine energy that is very confident within themselves, a leader, a mentor, um, and an inspirational figure. So she's got self-confidence, and she is inspirational. She's So this is her... This is her inner strength and this is her um, leadership ability at the base of this reading. Having to cope with this disappointment in the past. Oh, okay. Well, that pretty much sums up her past. She's very much been hamstrung, held hostage to the direction the party has taken. Um, she can... The, the bindings are fairly loose um, and can be easily uh, taken off. And then the... the um, Blindfold can be removed, and I think this is what she's done because this is in the past. Prior, she was blindly following the party line, um, and she was confined in what she could do. But she's taken these taken these bindings off, and has moved into this new energy. So that's the past. 
crowning the reading is the Seven of Cups. She has some choices to make. There are choices that she will have to make in regards to um, where she puts her loyalty with the party. You've got the Doves of Peace up here. You've got the um, Seduction of the Rose, um, Power in the Dragon, Wealth, um, Esteem, uh, Monetary Wealth, Asset Wealth, Monetary Wealth, and uh, Power. So this is this is physical power. This is um, uh, power as is. So she has choices that she will be needing to make as to where she puts her energies in regards to this. She is being informed about what's going on. We've got this page of swords who is pages are setting out on a new journey. This is almost um, okay. I'm getting that this is the even though this is the energy she uh, invokes and emboldens. This is where she's at now. This is the immediate future. This is the energy that she's bringing forward. That she's setting out on a new journey, quite youthful, not naive, but youthful, bringing forward this sort of truth, exposing some some truths. So this is the immediate future. External influences. Ooh, betrayal. This is the GOP. Full stop. Betrayal. Sabotage. Deception, um, but you've also got so slaying of these these figures. Um, a lot of the uh, packs have people walking away. Uh, the external influence. This is the current state of the GOP, in that um, they believe that they have uh, the might through the stealing of all these truths. Um, but it is observed and exposed uh, that this is what they're in. It's betrayal and deception and lies and deceit and sabotage and this is the party, the GOP party, where it is now. Internal influence, ooh, the devil. So this is the GOP where it is now. The external influence is the uh, the deception and lies. The, this is gerrymandering this is uh, this is the gerrymandering this is the voter suppression this is the um, uh, toxic social media posts that are supplying misinformation because swords are also they're an air sign so they're very much about the the airways um, the social media etc this is very much about spreading the the misinformation um, and and stoking the fires of dissent and this is externally and internally the GOP have got themselves chained to this toxic malevolent de devil energy so this is the GOP internally I, I don't think you need me to <laughs> really say that for you to know the hopes and fears the voter wow so the GOP fear the voter <laughs> But the hope is the voter. Get out, register, make sure you're registered, make sure your friends are registered. It's none of your business who they end up voting for, but if they are like you and have a mindset like you, then they will uh, critically think about the information they're being supplied, be cynical about what they're being supplied, and it all comes down to the voter. The, the new beginning is the hope is the voter. An inevitable ending, a call to arms, coming back to the voter. So Liz Cheney herself has these choices to be to be made. She can see it is the inevitable ending of this GOP. She can see that she you've got the judge the angel here is playing this this uh, flute or trumpet or whatever it is, and these figures here are um, uh, being called. Their message has been called. It is very much a call to arms to, to make sure these midterms are vital, even more important than um, considering the 2024 federal election. These midterms are absolutely vital that the, the voters engage, 
but it is an inevitable ending of this GOP and she is aware of it. She is aware of it. Uh, she needs. She knows that she needs to put up boundaries between herself and the current GOP toxicity. Um, she's putting up these boundaries. She's got all this messaging in her camp that she is bringing forward, that she is offering. Uh, there will be some difficult decisions to be made. She will be have to have to juggle some of her loyalties versus her, um, her her loyalty versus her beliefs. Um, she will have to make the decision about which part of the GOP she is going to rescue. Which part of the GOP? I just get this such strong feeling that in some way she is going to be the leader of this party whether it's in the House or the Senate or a future presidential nominee. Um, don't necessarily agree with her. Um, I admire the stance that she's taking for the sake of democracy, but she is juggling, walking a tightrope, very much walking a tightrope, juggling and having to decide her loyalties and, and what she's actually going to support. And she will be very powerful in the messaging she brings forward Changes will happen quickly. She's not revealing everything at this stage, but her actions, she knows her actions will have consequences. On the base of the pack, we have Joe Biden. Um, so you've got this calm, diplomatic figure. Okay, this is usually my Joe Biden card, but I'm thinking that this is Liz Cheney in, in another form. So we've got these, these forms here in another form of being the calm voice of reason because this is the calm, diplomatic, emotionally stable figure um, with a masculine energy. So I'm thinking this is her being the calm voice of reason and that what made me think of that was and immediately see it in my mind was this card coming out, the tower card. She has to break down the existing structure of um, the GOP to be able to rebuild it and she knows that she has to destroy it from within to be able to read it, rebuild it back into something that is of hope, that gives a message of hope rather than the current messaging that the GOP put out of fear, of fear and um, uh, What's the word um, of of um, degrading others? Wasn't the word I was after, but that was the. And then on the base of this, we've got the actions and consequences again. Okay, I wanted to have a look at <laughs> interesting as I thought of Justice Roberts. I want to have a look at Justice Roberts, and then yes, okay. So I had this card split it, and here's Justice Roberts here in retreat. So I'm thinking Justice Roberts is going to go from the SCOTUS, but it's not going to be one of the sooner ones, I don't think. I think Kavanaugh and, and what's his name? <laughs> uh, you know who I'm talking about, will be the first two off the rank. So we've got some cards flipped over here. Oh, completely Ginny. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. I think Thomas and Kavanaugh are going to be the first two off the rank. There's going to be information that will come out in regards to those two that just makes it unviable for them to stay. And they will actually walk away, those two. They, they won't be pushed. Um, well, they will be encouraged, for a way of putting it, um, those two will walk away but Roberts is a different story Roberts oh he's got money too from Trump org perhaps Trump org okay he's got some money things in his background there but tell me about Justice Roberts and the Supreme Court of the United States the SCOTUS tell me about Justice Roberts's future and this within the SCOTUS in the SCOTUS. I know a lot of this isn't of much interest for those my international viewers, those that are not in the US, but I'm very aware that what happens in the US, we have a saying in Australia, 
if the US sneezes, Australia catches a cold, what happens there is often a precursor to what becomes acceptable in other Western countries. So we do need to be aware of it and we need to send light and love and encourage those who are working for good in the United States. Don't ever send evil or bad thoughts or anything like that. That's not what we're about. We're about sending light and love and support and strength for good. Okay, off my off my soapbox there. Tell me about tell me about the future of Justice Roberts and the status. Tell me about the future. So here you've got the lawmakers has just popped out at me and they there will be a crossroads they will come to a crossroads next card down was the the russian card um so it'll be interesting to see whether it comes out tell me about justice roberts and the scotus tell me about justice roberts and the scotus tell me about justice roberts whoops Excuse me a second. Oh, flinged out. Uh, investigation, introspection, isolation. I'm getting, we'll, we'll go with that. I am getting, um, thank you, Meister. He's having a really good think about his position. He's not necessarily comfortable. He's had introspection in regards to his position on the SCOTUS. I think he's feeling isolated um, in that, okay. What I'm being told is that his position on the SCOTUS uh, was, is, he felt it a very honourable uh, position and that he had obligations but what's happened in recent years is that feeling of honorability that he's had has been severely undermined and eroded um, and he himself does not feel um, that the SCOTUS is a respectable okay a respectable institution were the words I got um, it's, it's not the honourable um, uh, leader that it used to be, is what he's feeling. So this is why he's going through this self-introspection. Okay, let's see what else. So, crossed by... Hello, Spotty. <laughs> he is being crossed by um, or challenged by a decision that has to be made. He feels like he's walking a tightrope. This is not the, the Supreme Court that he's leading is not the Supreme Court that he wants it to be or thought it was. It's no longer that. So he's walking this tightrope. He's, he's in a difficult decision. He's juggling about uh, what to do next. Um, pentacles are about um, wealth, but they're also about health and security. And he's just undecided about he's juggling what's going on in the SCOTUS he doesn't necessarily agree with the direction it's taken um, and this is why this interest, introspection is going ahead and he's seriously contemplating things at the base um, taking the truth and moving away sorry if the sun's shining a bit on this it is a beautiful day outside taking the truth and moving on Very much a moving on card. In the past, uh, this is the the night of um, the ones bring an inspiring figure, a risk taking figure, coming forward with an offer of messages, etc., etc. But this is in the past. This is how he saw himself in the past. Was a harbinger of honourable messages but it's in the past. Crowning the reading, Four of Pentacles, um, very much. He's playing his cards close to the chair, his chest, but 
he's unhappy with the position he's in at the moment. Uh, he's feeling very insecure and he's very uncomfortable with what is happening on the SCOTUS at the, at the moment. Now, again, I don't agree necessarily with um, uh, Judge Roberts's uh, views and opinions, but I don't have to agree to be able to see that this was um, a man who had visions and honour and similar with Liz Cheney, and he's just finding it extremely uncomfortable. The position he is perched on top of of the goods, he's he's just not enjoying it. Immediate future is the Star of Hope. This is about restoration and respite, um, bringing forward um, a, a spiritual and physical rebalancing. This is the immediate future. This is what he wants to bring forward. The external influences. See, they're not bad cards for him himself. The external influences is the Queen of Pentacles, and she's very much about providing um, security um, in all manner um, for Americans. So he's actually wanting to... He's finding himself undermined. Okay, thanks, Meister. This is what he wants for the Supreme Court, is that all who come under uh, the banner of the United States are secure in their lives, um, financially, health-wise, um, just in their lives. They are in a comfortable position um, and he, this is what he, being under the star of hope, this is how he saw his role in the, um, in the SCOTUS is the list. Sorry, phone's going off on the other side of the room. However, this is the internal influences. So this is the external potential outcome. Uh, sorry, immediate future was he, he wants to be able to rebalance it. Um, and this is what he ex this is the external influence that he wanted to bring to the the scotus but this is the internal influence he knows there is dark underbelly that needs to be exposed that will be exposed that will come to the surface seediness and secrets that will come to the surface and we'll have to pass the test of passing through the pillars of wisdom, past the, the, the two, the wolf and the dog, um, has to pass the, the, what we call in Australia is the pub test. If you get a couple of blokes and, or, or girls in the pub having a chat about a particular something that's been brought up in politics, if they disagree with it, then it does not pass the pub test. If they, if they find whatever it is contentious, it does not pass the test. And, and the, he knows within himself that there is this element in the scotus that is going to come to light. Hopes and fears, he's hoping for a new start, hoping for a new start. Um, there is this message coming forward about um, this is the outcome. There will be these messages coming forward to do with money, money in the SCOTUS, these messages will come very quickly. He will have a choice that he needs to make in regards to what support he gives. Um, now that these contracts have been exposed, uh, he's going to find himself quite um, hamstrung in what he can do, quite restricted in his position due to the information that's coming out and he's going to find himself wounded in battle and facing facing um, uh, uh, defeat of some way. Okay, a new beginning. He's looking forward to a new beginning. Restoring faith and trust in the democratic system as the information about Russia in the past comes out with the lawmakers he will reach a crossroads that was in regards to the giving and receiving money that has influenced the SCOTUS and he will walk away 
at some stage. Another long story. Sorry about this, we're getting a bit long today. I think I'm going to have to do Trump on another day. Or is this just a simply a way of telling me don't bother reading on him? So um, again, I only covered three. What I might do is, um, oh, very quickly, very quickly, please bear with me. My trip and wait cards, which seem to be my cards for Trump lately, because all that he touches makes you feel like you're on LSD and acid at the moment. Uh, it's all very bizarre and comical. Tell me, is being, I, I'm just going to ask, is it, is support of Trump, is the support of Trump revealing itself to be toxic? Are Trump's nominees finding that his touch, his approval is toxic? is those Republicans that are running in the, in the runoffs, are they finding within the GOP that the approval of Trump is toxic? Are they finding Trump's approval, are they finding too late that Trump's approval is toxic for them? Are they finding in the shift of the GOP that Trump's approval is toxic for them? Are they finding Trump's approval toxic to them? Oh, uh, okay. Plans coming to fruition, ship coming in, looking overseas. Let's see where this goes. Harsh truth coming out. Harsh truth coming forward. <laughs> Look at the unicorn this night is right. Well, it's not a unicorn, but it's a, a pink pony with purple, purple mane. Um, Wheel of Fortune. So, okay. And the magician. The magician, the devil... I'll run through these quickly, Ace of Wands. So what's happening and burden? They are finding his, as America leans to, it may not seem like it. Gosh, from what I hear from you guys, it so does not seem like it. But America is in a stage of, of entering a new era of moderation and rebalancing. So, oh, this... The cards are still going on the story. We'll run through them extremely quickly. Um, so what we've got here is uh, the overseas influence, the harsh truth of the overseas influence is coming back to bite them on the bum. The manipulation of this devil toxic energy is facing a thumping, basically. They are finding his approval burdensome as the average, when I, average, not extremist, um, the, extreme, the extreme edges are just extremely noisy, um, as America is re-entering this stage of uh, moderation and rebalancing. Um, the past, the past is the past, which is Trump, he is the past is causing them to defeat um, as the think big and new ideas are coming forward. The think big and new ideas are coming forward. Um, at the base we have um, the emperor, uh, Trump and all his, this is probably how he likes to see himself, Trump and all his glory, um, is a death knell to them is a death knell to them. So hope you made it to the end there. Um, we sort of knew that, but what they're finding is, that, yeah, he's just, they're realising he his uh, Midas touch is the touch of death. Okay. Or, or yeah, <laughs> basically. Not death, death, but, yeah, you get what I mean. So stay strong through it all. Thank you for joining me. And... Um, I hope you found that somewhat enlightening. I'll catch you later. 
Love and light to everybody. Bye-bye.